So in this video, I am going to discuss about the uh, Arduino Nano Avery Schematics and some details about it starting with the of course this USB connector J1 and in this one we have a USB regular micro connector with 5 pins of and of course this ID pin is not used the two USB pins going to a microchip ATS AMD 11 D14A microcontroller it's an inexpensive microcontroller for example I see it here it's microchip it's available at uh, for something like a dollar or so uh, there are low cost ones 1.04 so coming back to this thing we will come back to this but let's before that go on to the power supply structure because that's very interesting in this one the USB will typically will have a 5 volt here and if you look at this diode this VUSB net name here uh, we have a, uh, a low loss diode MPMAX 020 and it lists this net as plus 5 volt but actually if you are using the USB you can expect a slum drop across T2 so at plus 5 volt we are actually getting something like 4.7 volt so if, if you plan to use this plus 5 volt and you expect it to be 5 volt then probably this is not the best thing to use but let's we'll, we'll talk about that later but for now this plus 5 volt goes to the input of this 3.3 volt regulator and we get 3.3 volt here and the light uh, uh, LED in DL2 and this is a 3.3 volt goes everywhere on this um, processors and all and so on and so forth so now uh, if you do want this plus 5 volt very re uh, regulated and exactly and more precision plus 5 volt you can use this V in and this IC NPM3610 it's very interesting because this is a chip from uh, you can see if you search for it we have from uh, MPS uh, microchip uh, or something a monolithic power uh, power supply it has a 1.2 volt current driving capacity and there are two important features of this the most important is it has an integrated inductor probably it's working at a very high frequency inside and does not need that inductor to be outside and second is its internal MOSFET 90 milliohm 50 milliohm 40 milliohm low RDS on internal MOSFET so these things make this chip very interesting it can supply 1.2 ampere continuous current and has a wide input range of 4.5 volt to 21 volt so if you do need this plus 5 volt you will need to power this whole board with this V in and V in is essentially nothing but a power supply which is supplied from pin number 15 of this dual header in most cases you don't need this 15, number 15 this power plus 5 volt so it stays unused and probably Arduino could avoid the cost, could drive it for cost further down by reduce by removing this chip. But I think it's a good feature. It's not very inexpensive, probably like a dollar or so. But if you are on a low cost thing, you could drive down the cost by avoiding every sing, single thing that you have. Other than that, uh, the chip uh, we have this connector J2 here that you can use to uh, do the bootloader program the bootloader in case you need to and then uh, the other thing is just a simple uh, serial port connection between this one and the actual chip this 80 mega uh, 4809 which is powerful more powerful than what was used in the regular Arduino nano things and then the, all those connections from this chip goes on to this header including the i2c bus for example spi but with miso mosi and i think this rx1 tx1 is the serial port we have a reset button and also uh, multiple power buttons going out from here uh, for example you can hook a 3.3 volt right here and and and, and possibly plus 5 volt here plus 5 volt basically could be connecting to the same point we discussed here so this is pretty much all of the schematics for the 
uh, Arduino array board. Uh, you can check this on this Arduino website. And I hope this you find this helpful.